green flags in the air. We're underway. Yeah, a lot cleaner start that time for your front row as will be Brad Williams leading the field off a turn at number two. John Cornell going to work his way around the 33 machine of Donald Curtis as he gives up another spot and moves from the pole all the way to the outside of the top five. Will be Brad Williams leading heat lap number one, followed by the 48 machine of Craig Parker and John Cornell. The teammates down there in the Cornell Racing entries, the 48 and the 28, they were side by side for turn or two, give the spot to last year's last year's champion, John Cornell in the 28. Cornell lead right now trying to reel in that 23 machine of Brad Williams. They work off a of turn number four. Don Shaw gonna sneak past the 81 via Bud Grossenbacher. Now moves to the outside of the 48 machine of Craig Parker. So Don Shaw, that 42S, looks like he has that car running wherever he wants it to, whether it's down low or up top. As John Cornell right now putting the pressure on the 23 machine of Brad Williams. Don Shaw will clear Craig Parker, move him to that third position as Cornell right now all over the back bumper of the 23 machine of Williams. One car smoking, that is Bruce Duckett. Bruce Duckett. Start, that's some smoke pouring out of that race car. Right now does get past the 88 machine of Lee Hoy as John Cornell is right there ready to challenge and pounce on the 23 machine of Williams. Pulls up side by side going into turn number one. Williams though will lead him off at turn number two by about half a car length. Also have Don Shaw in the mix right there in that third spot. Trying to reel in both your race leaders. Don Shaw starts race back in the ninth position. Trying to race his way up into the top two right now as John Cornell once again looks to the inside of Brad Williams. Williams though able to hang him off. He's going off at turn number two. Top three drivers throw a blanket over him because that's what they're doing right now they're all cuddling off a of turn number four and Don Shaw trying to work his way around John Cornell couldn't quite do it as Cornell cuts off his move on the top side but it will be Cornell going down low to Brad Williams Don Shaw gonna diamond off the turns one and two started up high dropped it down low pulls up side by side with Cornell those two race off a of turn number four side by side give it to Don Shaw as he throws the slide job out with white flag in the air Brad Williams off a of turn at number two. Going to have some lap traffic in his way right now with the 33 machine of Donald Curtis. Very slow on the racetrack. Here comes Shaw to the inside of Williams. He'll take over the race lead and get past Curtis as well. Don Shaw wins. He raced number one over Williams and Cornick. Green flags in the air. We're underway. A lot cleaner restart here. As they race into turn number one. Will be Sluka leading the field. And the one with Ling in second. And here comes Steve Stoltz. Missed him earlier. He makes contact there. Goes sideways. More contact there. Collecting the 40 machine as well of Dana fight. So yellow flag will fly here as, man, green flag in the air once again as they race into turn number one. Side by side for the top spot. Scott Sluka will take the advantage off of turn number two. Here comes Jim Whistler down the inside of lane. He'll squeeze by him for second. Dana fight in that four spot, pulls away for the 29 machine of Jerry Fincher. Now has the sight set on the 89 machine of Lang as they race off of turn number four. It will be Sluka Whistler with Lang in third, but for how long? As here comes Dana fight in the number 40 machine. Peaks down to the inside, can't quite do anything with the 89 machine of Lang. Actually loses a couple car lengths off of turn number two down the back straightaway as Lang Hangs on to that third spot. Whistler trying to reel him back in as Brian Schultz, the farm boy, plows his way up through the field, work, trying to work his way underneath the 29 of Jerry Fincher. He'll do just that, move up to that fifth spot. Steve Stoltz back there has gotten around the 19 machine of Paul Rios. Now has a sight set on the 29 machine of Jerry Fincher going into turn number three. They're side by side for that sixth position. Out front, no change. Still Scott Sluka showing the way, followed by the 28 machine of Jim Whistler. Driver out of Otis Oregon is the... 28 machine of Whistler with the 89 of Lang in third. He has about a five, six car length advantage right now over the 40 machine of Dana Fight as they race off a of turn number four. Top four drivers already working their way off a of turn number two. Rest of the field trying to catch up as Brian Schultz has that fifth position all by himself. So once again, Steve Stoltz trying to put the pressure on the 29 machine of Fincher. Three laps to go here in heat race number two for the SWDRA late models before we get into our bomber heat races here tonight. And Scott Sluka holding it pretty well right now, your race leader, with Whistler still in that second spot. So everybody's trying to strung out right now. Single file. Steve Stoltz, though, trying everything he can to get around Jerry Fincher. Looks like he's faster him, just can't quite pass him as he pulls up side by side again. Almost went around though, as white flag flies this time for the 55 machine of Sluka. Scott Sluka at a Casa Grand, Arizona. Leads the field off a of turn number two through turns three and four. One final time here in heat race action. He will pick up the win here in heat race number two. With Whistler coming home in second, followed by Lang and Fight. 